Okay, let's continue now. We've got some second derivatives here. Um, 191. Y equals X sine X cos X. So that means the first derivative is sine X plus X cos X plus sine X which is 2 sine x plus x cos x. So the second derivative will be 2 cos x plus cos x minus x sine x. So that would be 3 cos x minus x sine x. 192. I'm tempted to use a double angle rule here, but I don't think we've covered that yet, so I better not. Y equals sine x cos x. So the derivative would be uh, cos squared x minus sine squared x, or cos cos sine sine. So then the second derivative, uh, derivative of cos cos, would be uh, cos minus sine and cos minus sine. So that's minus 2 sine x cos x. And then derivative of sine sine would be sine cos and cos sine. So that'd be minus 2 sine cos. So that would be minus 4 sine x cos x. Let me just think about that one. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's I think that's right. I'm just not sure about the minus, but I think it's right. 193. Oh, 193 is an easy one. Y derivative will be 1 minus a half cos x. So the second derivative would be a half sine x. 194 is y equals 1 over x plus, if you want to say, sine x over cos x for tan x. So that means the first derivative will be minus 1 over x squared plus um, 1 over cos squared, isn't it? It's like sec squared. Um, so I don't know, uh, you could say that as cos x cos x if you wanted. So the second derivative will be 1 over x cubed, bring down the power, oh, sorry, 2 over x cubed, minus 2 by minus 1. And then here, uh, what can we go with? We can go with the bottom squared, the bottom times the root of the top minus the top times the root of the bottom, the root of cos cos will be minus 2 sine cos because you'd, you'd have cos minus sine and minus sine cos. We can cancel one of the cosines here down to a tree and we could make a sine over cos as a tan. So the best I can do is minus 2 tan x and then cos squared so that's sec squared x. I think that's the best I can do here. 195. Y equals 2 cosec x, which is 2 over sine x. So the first derivative is the bottom squared. The bottom times the root of the top minus the top times the root of the bottom. Um, but then I need the second derivative. So that's the bottom squared. The bottom times the root of the top. So that would be 2 sine cubed x minus the top times the root of the bottom, which is sine sine, which is sine cos and cos sine. So 2 sine cos 
and the cost makes that squared. So I can get rid of a sign from everything, bring that down to a tray, and that to two. And uh, what can I get here? Um, oh, that's interesting now. That's two sine squared plus two cost squared. So that's two. Oh, no, actually. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, there's a two here. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. So I wonder if I could have done anything. I feel like I can simplify this a bit. Um, let me just be careful here. So it's the bottom squared and then the bottom times the derivative of the top. So that's two sine x minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is sine sine, which becomes sine cos and cos sine. Oh, that's a shame. It's a shame because that's going to be, yeah, two cos squared. Okay, well, let's clean it up as much as I can. So the sine x, the sine x, and that goes to make a tree. That's two sine squared plus four cos squared. So that's two sine squared x plus four cos squared, which is two cos squared plus two cos squared, all over sine cubed. That's a two. So the best I can do on the top is two times one plus cos squared. Um, over sine cubed. I wonder how they write the answer at the back. I don't know. We'll have to have a look. 196y equals sec squared, which is 1 over cos squared x. So the derivative would be the bottom squared. Out of space. So here, y equals one over cos squared x. So the derivative here would be the bottom squared. So that's cos power four x. The bottom times root of the top minus the top times root of the bottom, cos cos is minus um, cos cos derivative is cos minus sine. Yeah, so it's plus two sine cos, but we can cancel a cos and make that a tree. And then I'll need the second derivative now. Mm. Let's see. The bottom squared, the bottom times the derivative of the top, so that's going to be 2 cos 4, two power, uh, 2 cos power 4, minus uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and squeeze it in. I'll just do it. I'll just do it properly on a new page. Before I clear this off, let's check our answers so far. So this is um, 191 onwards. Ninety one onwards, three cos x minus x sine x. Oh, there it is, three cos x minus x sine x. 193 is a half sine x, that's right. 195. Okay, 195, they simplify it down to cosec. Okay. Cosec squared plus cotan squared. They took the two out, so that's good. And then it's one over sine cubed. They changed, so let's, let's see if we can match it up. Two over sine cubed x. Well, let's not worry about the two for the moment because we, we know that's right. 
So it's 1 over sine cubed, I'm sorry, s cubed, plus cos squared over sine cubed. So cosec is 1 over sine. So they took a 1 over sine out, and that left with 1 over sine squared, which is cosec squared, and that's cotan squared. Yeah, that matches up. Okay, so I'm going to assume that this one's okay, because I can't really rewrite that. And uh, 2 tan x sec squared x, that's probably how they would write it at the back, so I'm going to assume that's okay as well. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so it's just 196 we have to have a look at then. Let's see, okay. Let's clear this off. One ninety six. So y equals sec squared, which is one over cos squared x. So that means dy dx is the bottom squared. The bottom times root of the top minus the top times the root of the bottom. The derivative of cos cos is cos minus sine minus sine cos. So it's two sine cos. So that's two sine x over cos cubed x. So the second derivative would be, okay, it's going to be messy. Cos 6, cos power 6x. And then it'll be cos cubed x times 2 cos x. So it's cos 4 minus 2 sine x. And then cos 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 the derivative of cos, 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 cos. So that becomes minus sine cos, cos, minus cos, sine, cos, minus cos, cos, sine. So you can see what's happening. It's minus three sine cos squared. So um, minus three sine x cos squared x. Now, what can we do for cancelling? There's a cos squared in everything, so I can get rid of that. Cos squared. That and that brings it down to 2. Because it was 4. So now it's down to it's cos squared. And then that goes down to a 4. So that would be 2 cos squared x plus 6 sine squared x over cos power 4x. Let's take the 2 out and maybe a cos squared x out from the denominator. And that would leave me with 1 over cos squared x. Because if it... Oh no, it wouldn't actually. It would just leave me with... So if, if I split it up first, 2... 1 over cos squared x plus 3 sine squared x over cos 4x there. So that would be 2 over cos squared x. 1 plus 3 sine squared x over cos squared x. So that would be 2 sec squared x times 1 plus 3 tan squared x. These are tricky ones today. Hopefully I didn't make any mistake going through those. I do worry about sign mistake. Maybe if I can just check this last one maybe for reassurance. Okay, sex squared. No, second derivative.
weird. There's no sign in it. So did I make a mistake? Well, actually, do you know what? You could change sine squared into 1 minus cos squared. So it could actually be the same thing. So what I'll do is I'll type my answer in. 2 sec squared 1 plus 3 tan x squared. I'll plot that. And then I'll plot this. Yep, it coincides. So it is the same thing. All right. So at least more than half of them are right. Because uh, I've checked the answer at the back. And I've just checked the answer for 196. So we're confident with 196 and the odd ones. 191, 193, and 195. So I guess I, uh, that one that one looks okay. I think it could. Sine x, cos x. Differentiate this twice. Yeah. Did I, get, did I say the minus? I did say the minus. So, uh, so that one's okay. So we might as well just finish now. One over x plus tan x. Um, I do remember the two over x cubed. So, I wonder if we could go back to the last page and check. Then we'll wrap it up for today. This is, what one was I checking? 193. No, 194. Minus 2 tan x x squared x. Hmm? What was I checking? 194. Oh, yeah, good thing I checked. I never carried this guy over. So it's equal to minus 2 over x cubed. No, why am I saying minus? No, minus there. 2 over x cubed minus 2 tan x x squared x. 2 tan sec. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Never forgot to carry that guy up onto the final line. I was focused. Everybody can tell what happened. I was focusing on that so much that I, I missed the, the guy to the left. Okay, so that's 191 to 196 done. We'll leave it there for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.